Okay, so you're on the Deadline Report with Ben Virgin Investigates, and I am today basically beating the drum and asking an SOS. I want people to get out there and, understand, and tell people about the fact that we have this major crisis going on in the world right now. It is the most serious crisis of all the crises that you can imagine. We have now a situation where in the, uh, the Ukraine theatre, uh, there has been a nuclear reactor attack on a nuclear reactor. Right now, the Russians are blaming the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians are blaming the Russians. 75% of the press reports support the Russian story. 25% support the Ukrainian point. None of it actually matters. What matters is the fact that we are actually, uh, you know, and I, I, in 1963, the Cuban Missile Crisis, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Nuclear Scientists' nuclear clock, we were at uh, a minute, sorry, we were at two minutes to midnight. As of January the 2022nd, prior to, sorry, prior to uh, February 22nd, we were at 90 seconds from midnight. We've been for a year throughout the conflict. We've had near attacks on the reactor at Zerds, but it's here. Uh, we've had the attacks in the Middle East, and somehow, well, miraculously, we are still at 90 seconds to midnight. Well, now where we're at the point now is that we've got an attack actually occurring against a nuclear reactor, which means that for the first time since World War II, nuclear fission is now part of the military component. We've literally now crossed the Rubicon. We're not, I cannot see how we are at anything but actually at midnight. Short of possibly we're at one second to midnight. We haven't quite had the big nuclear cloud. Maybe that's the, the final indication. But what we're now doing is we're involving nuclear fusion into the conflict. We've crossed an, an entirely new Rubicon. We are also, of course, using depleted uranium in the uh, Ukraine. This is an area which produces massive amounts of wheat, which makes up staggering copious amounts of most of, of people's bread products, indirectly or one way or another, come from the Ukraine. What we are looking about is the potential contamination of the entire world's primary food supply, at least of the Western world, and, and have a think about that thought for a process too. We need... I don't have a particularly large, uh, particular drum uh, anymore on social media anymore since the two, the uh, any net neutrality have gone from 135,000 people a week to less than 400 people a month. But of all the stories I've covered, I think this is the most important story I've ever covered. And I want people not just to listen to the story and go, oh, that was entertaining. I want you to go out today and go and talk to two or three people about this particular event. I want you to use human power, the, the Mexican human wave, to get out and drive the story into people's public consciousness because this is really the thing that we should be talking about. I don't care about identity politics at the moment. I'm not saying that these are issues that, that are not without importance, but I'm saying right now when I'm, we're fighting for our entire survival, this is the particular number one issue that we need to be getting through to people, that this is this is not acceptable warfare. So what do we do? Okay, you as I said, you go and you start talking about it. That is probably the most important thing. If you can actually make an active purpose to turn around and get people to look this actually up, to actually start actually talking to other people about it, to be speaking about it on social media, that is a very, 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 very good start. Talking about it is a big, 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 big beginning. The second thing, of course, is that you can turn around and you can directly contact your uh, media person, media personnel. You can turn around and you collectively uh, your uh, elected personnel. So again, by social media, writing them by via email, find the emails on address, uh, going to the offices. Again, basically, these are the, the old school situations, writing up a little, doing a little story, writing up, looking at all the situation, what's going on, write a little story yourself. And don't just turn around and put it on social media because you can't guarantee. Actually, the most, you know what the most social censored thing on social media right now is? It's not right wing politics. It's not um, Taylor Swift, uh, people who don't like Taylor Swift. It's anything to do that's trying to raise awareness on the military industrial compl complex, that is likely to be the most sensitive thing on the internet. That's that's actually the reality. That's the story. They talk about the Christchurch call. Oh, we're going to bring in all this stuff to stop the, the from the hate for haters. No, it's not. What has actually been used to do is most of the people that are actually sponsoring the Christchurch call, countries like Saudi Arabia, are the people that are actually driving this uh, us to the verge of psychopathic uh, uh, self-annihilation annihilation because of the way that they go about approaching conflict resolution these are the people they don't want us talking about the fact that they are actually uh driving this massive military industrial complex machine that is actually really driving this war in the ukraine and the war in the palestine and the war, any war you want to care to name so that they can make more and more money because of nine, nuclear weapons actually make up 99 percent of the entire amount of money you make from nuclear weapons period i mean from weapons period so forget your air, airship carriers, your fighter jets, your military bases. They all make up 1%. Okay? 
the nuclear industry at the end of the day are the biggest black mafia on this world and this is the one that New Zealand we're the country we are the country that is a nuclear we were pioneers the French came in supposedly our allies blew up blew up the French Rainbow Warrior in 1987 all of the Kiwis turned around got behind and went screw that and now what we haven't said is we've got Steinlager making out like they turn around and single handedly them and the America's Cup bollocks the America's Cup supported by the United Arab Emirates who basically are making using New Zealand technology to create smart bombs and drones which are actually now being used to attack nuclear reactors. And you can't even be sure this is where we're at. Nobody knows who those drones are. They could be a state actor. They could be, you know, a, a um, somebody trying to actually drive the stock market up. That's, but that's where we're at. Where we're at. We've got such a plethora of all these nasty little weapons out there right now that there is no control over any of it. We've all gone a bridge too far and we're about to wipe ourselves out. So we need people like us to get off our asses, off our Facebook page. We need you to turn around and actually start writing your own stories, print them out on a single full piece of paper, go down to your photocopying place, go around and distribute them, put them on the walls of the local cafes, give free copies to put out in your cafes, give them to the local library, to your supermarket, Put up signs, go and tell people, go and stand in the park and go, look, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a protest today and it doesn't need to have somebody from the party organising it all. It doesn't have to actually organise a protest which actually involves somebody saying, oh, come and talk, listen to me and you can put money in my cohort jar because I'm so important. Why don't you and your friends go and find a nice park, take your kids, do what you're going to do normally, do face painting, have a nice picnic or something they're cool and that's actually pleasant, but at the same time, put some posters up there explaining the fact that we're on the verge of a nuclear war. You can, you, you can do this. You don't need a leader. You don't need an MP to do this. You can actually do this. And I'm begging you, I'm begging you to go out there and make this this issue about the fact that we are having this uncontrollable war in the Ukraine that's about to drive us towards nuclear war and that people have to say collectively worldwide, regardless whether Ukrainian, Russian, New Zealand, American, Chinese, no to nuclear weapons. Right now, our lives depend on it. And I'd like to play you a song from when New Zealand was the most amazing country in the world when it came to fighting the, the dark warriors of the evil, the nuclear black mafia. And this is Polypolitician. The Hoops.